name is Lena and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog I'm with my sister Hello, it's Tuesday. I have something new. Can you read it? Secret Paw Society. That's a special thing. Update. I finished Turtles all the way down like two days ago. On Sunday evening, I have it still in the, this fabric dust jacket. Let's get it out. Wasn't supposed to happen like this, but oh my god, that's what I get trying to do this with one hand. But turtles all the way down by John Green. I've heard a lot of good things about it. People like being like I don't know, really excited and happy and whatnot about this book. It was a good book. It was really interesting, but I, it's nothing like I don't know. I think I expected something more but what i liked about it i actually liked to learn more about i think the main character have ocd is that <laughs> since i read it in latvian i don't really like i struggle a bit with the medical terms but i think she has ocd so, yeah, I kind of liked to learn more because I have, like, I overthink a lot. So, but this is, like, really on a, another level. But, yeah, it was really interesting to learn about someone who's a lot different than me. But then, next, where is... Did I take it out? I'm pretty sure I took it out. I'm sleeping on it. Laying on it. I have my next read pick. Oh, I don't have the dust jacket. I'm a mess, if you can't tell. I think this is the dust jacket. Yes. This Golden Flame by Emily Victoria. This is kind of sci-fi, kind of fantasy. And sci-fi, I think, because it feels like there are robots, will be robots, but the main character is living on this island. I don't understand who she is. She's like an orphan, but why she is really on that island, I don't know, but... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, but her brother is missing. She don't know where he is. 
she wants to find him and yeah robots they used to be like alive kind of but now they are frozen or like they're not working they are mm, there are wounds who need to be drawn to do things to open things and things like that but yeah and I'm, I'm not much and i have read like what not 40 pages so not a lot so i don't know much about what it is about but yeah this is my next read that i will read like now i'm warming up some leftovers for dinner and i'm gonna watch some reading sprints so that's it but yeah i'm a mess i feel really tired and nothing new really but that's that It's Thursday. I'm feeling rough. I'm having a headache. It's here since yesterday evening. And I think it's one of the worst like things, waking up with a headache. Sleep should help, but it didn't. So I have a headache. Luckily, I'm working from home today, so it is easier. I have my guilty. I feel like sh today she finally is herself again. She wasn't feeling too good. I think she ate something that her belly didn't like, but she's fine now. She's okay, right? But yeah, so I'm actually liking the book, the this golden flame, and there are robots. I think that is the sci-fi part, and there are pirates. <laughs> I didn't expect pirates. I don't know why, but I didn't expect those. But yeah, I all I remember that when I got it, it like more than a year ago. I think it arrived in a fairy loot box. And it was mentioned that it is a bit sci-fi-y. And I think because of the robots. And the whole robot thing is actually really interesting too. Because <clears throat> they are supposed to be these big... Most of them, I feel like, that are, like mentioned at the beginning, they are these big metal things that don't have mind of their own. Like, they are not usable. Uh, something happened, like, about 200 years ago, and they are not usable anymore. But the robots don't have minds of their own. They are controlled by runes that are written in each robots, kind of robots. They are, what they were called here, I don't remember, but uh, in their, like, a book, a tome, and that, and that's the way you control them, by r writing in that book. And then our main character finds and wakes up a robot kind of thing that is, how do you, what, I think there is a word. He can talk and think of its own. So, that's that. But the kind of the main thing is that main character wants to find her brother who was sent away seven years ago and yeah that's it I'm, I'm liking it i can't explain what i like but it is really interesting and i kind of want to find more hopefully i will have more time today to read because yesterday i didn't read that much because of the headache but i tried to read a bit we'll see how it goes today hopefully the headache like passes it's morning still, so it should go away, hopefully. 
I had a coffee just now. I think I need some food, but I don't know. I don't want to cook, make whatever, anything. But I need to see what I have that I can eat quickly. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, I have a work thing now. So talk to you maybe later. Monday. It's the last day of October and it means that my little project with filming a little clip every day is over and it was successful and I would like to say that the Instagram thing posting a picture every day has been successful too because I have only today left and I'm pretty sure I will do it later in the day because I do that in evenings so yeah the weekend didn't go as planned. I had more things planned to do, but I didn't do them all. But at least I finished this Golden Flame by Emily Victoria. And I actually really liked it. It was good story. And I like that it is a standalone. The story ended. So, yeah. There were robots. They are called automations. And what is interesting that no one knows how they work, <laughs> where they came from. They are there, but yeah, it's about friendship, about making decisions, <laughs> weird decisions sometimes, not the good ones, but yeah, I liked it. I really liked it. I didn't film TBR for November. I need to do it. I have the books here, so I'm gonna do that on my lunch break since i'm working from home today but yeah i don't know do i have more to say i don't know the week is over the october is over november is here i don't know where the time is going if you hear noises my cat is having her breakfast now I put it in this yellow ball and she has to roll it so the food falls out. So that's what she's doing now. She has to work for food. But yeah. What else? Cat Lady Readathon. It's coming this weekend. Like, it's not even a week. And I'm having my first ever reading sprint on my channel. We'll see. <clears throat> we'll see how that goes. Hopefully good. But I'm nervous. But it will be okay. I'm not going to be alone on the first one, definitely. Sasha will be joining me if nothing changes. But yeah, it's be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. But I think that's it for this vlog. Oh, I could mention that I have one more book I hope to finish in October. And it is 36 and 6 Cats. It was on my October TBR and it is a children's book. It has like big font and illustrations. 
so i will finish this one today so i have one more book off my tbr but yeah i don't know what it is about i guess it is about a lot of cats i don't know why there is 36 and 6 what is with that number why it's said like that why it's not just 42 who knows i will read it and then in the wrap up i'm gonna tell you about the book but yeah now i think this is it for the vlog please check out the description box for links to my twitter instagram and goodreads connect with me there if you want i would really appreciate it check out cat lady read it on announcement i'm gonna try to remember link it in the description box so you can see it. there is a link to reading vlogs playlist where all the october vlogs are so that's it thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and i see you in the next one bye